Well, I'm still on the shed. Tell you, two days off. <laughs> Feels like a vacation. And uh, I must say, I utilized it pretty well, considering. I uh, put out a couple of videos, and I'm working on this one. And uh, this one is not so much about turning, but it's going to be about broadening your turning capabilities on your lathe. It's going to be a very simple jig that you can make. It's an eccentric chuck. So you can do offset turnings. Let's go on the lathe and I'm going to take you step by step as to what I'm doing and what my thought process is on this. Get it started. First of all, I got just a small square piece of maple. Now I chose maple because it's a hardwood, pretty condensed, and I'm going to be keeping this around for a little while. So with that being said, with that said, let's get started and go in here. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a ten. And I'm just going to use my parting tool because I'm going to be end up ending cutting all these square pieces out. thinking of what do I want to do. I could make an inner circle here and that inner circle could have a bolt. No, I could make a circle here offset and this inner circle would have a bolt. So let's let me think about this one. If I have a circle that comes out here, something like this, and I have a bolt here, as I turn the circle, this bolt will come to different points of that. Okay, the center of this bolt, the axis, will be somewhere around here. <clears throat> so I can make that a fixed axle point right here. <clears throat> so if I make that the center point right there, So basically, I need to drill out this circle right here. Not all the way through, just hollow this out and make a circle that's to this size right here. So this becomes, like I said, the center axis for it. There's no way for me to cut this one out and save this because I have to pot it out. But have that set from the back side or with a countersunk screw right there it doesn't matter uh, going front to back with a washer and like I said and this one will have like a worm screw 
right here. And this needs to be <clears throat> at the center of the piece. So this would be a worm screw, this would be a set screw, and this will be my circle that rotates. Let me clean up some of these lines. So I think what I want to do here is bring this to the drill press, make this hole go all the way through for my worm screw, make a small pilot hole here, and with a forcing bit, take that uh, circle off. I'm going to use a bigger forcing bit than this. So the first thing I want to do is make this hole, which is the center of this, make that one, actually I'm going to make that one for the worm screw. And that's what I'm going to use for the worm, worm screw. After a couple of mishaps. So what I got here right now is this with an offset circle. I need to make a circle. I need to make a circle. That will fit in here. The center point right here is where the circle will spin and the offset 
will be this part right here. I will uh, put a set screw, a locking screw, that will go right through here, and I'll be able to tighten it up at whichever direction I want this. I need to drill that all the way through to put my set screw in there. So, put a hole in here that will allow this piece to spin. I was thinking of putting something on a face, but I think I can lock this up. So my next thing to do is actually to make a good fit circle that will go right in here. And I'll make that out of maple as well. Could make it out of a darker wood to make it interesting at the same time. Uh, it needs to be pretty much a half inch, which is the thickness of this, so it can be flush and when I mount something this whole surface will be usable as a backer on that. Actually make it up on my scroll saw. I still got the mark for where I made my circle. So that should be what I need for, for this. So here's my circle in there. Drill that again and put a bolt through here. So here's this part. All I gotta do is do my center hole. And this one will be center of this part right here. So I'm gonna drill that. And of course, that's the center of the piece. only going to give me a little bit of eccentric it's not going to go all that wide uh, I wanted to maintain enough wood here but this is the part that will rotate and give me the offset the offset will only be by roughly an inch and a half which is probably a good amount for what I'm doing Now, what I need to do is get something that's going to thread here. I probably need to do a little countersink here as well, so this doesn't interfere at all with uh, any of this. And I'll do a, another countersink from this back side and put one of these from the back, and that will be what I drill out for my shaft. So what I did here is I did a countersink for this one. So it's it flush here. And I did one countersink from this side so I can put my worm screw. And this is what I'm gonna use for worm screw as well. So nothing super special on this. 
So seeing that that's for the worm screw and I already got it set there, I'm going to tap that in and look at and uh, CA this screw in place. So this is the back side of it. It's flush, nothing is going to interfere with that. And I want to make sure that this screw does not go anywhere. So a little bit of CA glue in there and I want to make sure that I get the nut out because this nut I don't want to get CA glue on me either. But that nut is strictly for, was just to pull it in. So now that I got this done, I want to put this in here and I want to wax that. Now I'm not going to be able to power wax it. I just want to, something to hold it up in place for me. I want to make sure that the pieces don't stick together and they spin in there. Now I'm locking up the nut on the back side also with a little bit of CA in there because I don't want to keep tightening it up or loosening up. I want it to move with the piece as I spin it without it becoming uh, sloppy. So I could have put a washer in there but I was looking for one and I didn't have one that really fit on that. So I got an easy motion on this and that feels pretty good if I can give it a slight snug I want it to move but I don't want it to be really loose Now, I want to mark some reference points on here. Number one, where my zero mark is. In other words, where is the smack center, which is, should be right where it is. That was kind of luck that I came up with that right off the bat. But it could be a little bit off, and I will check on that. So 
if something is not concentric at all, I'm going to put a reference mark right there as to my number one. to do is I want to put a set screw right over here and that's the highest point that that can uh, possibly or the longest offset that it can possibly go I should make uniform holes on this and have an indexing right on this uh, little wheel I'll probably later on make this wheel out of a, a cast aluminum or something like that and do something over here that would be spring loaded where I can pull it up and turn this wheel to the different offsets and let it drop down or even if it's not spring loaded do something with a thread uh, but for now I'm going to look for a screw a set screw that I can use on that That will be good. Get a small drill bit for that. For pilot hole. And this will be good. Looks like another 11 30 seconds. And right in here Well, I think that's the idea. So, back the screw up, put it where I want it, lock it back up, and it's locked. So, let's see what we got here. it to center which I'll be guessing at this point as to where center is okay so I'm guessing the center is right there tighten it up okay here goes moment of truth. So I'll bring this in here for just for the first trial.
No, I don't have to go any further. I'm not trying to get fancy. <clears throat> but take that off from center now. I'll figure out what to do as far as indexing. I must, I'm thinking this is the biggest offset that I can have. Yes, it gave me a couple offsets on this. First one worked out fine. Then I messed it up. Okay, well this spine is definitely too soft. It doesn't lock up in, the, in this thread. I believe this part, yeah, that part locks up pretty good. So I think it will work. Just not with a piece of 2x4.